Hey, what's going on everyone? It's finally time to continue with OFF. I'm so happy, uh, my recording session from last episode went by great. I think my biggest problem was I was recording too many episodes in one session, so I would have like these 40 minute recordings and I think eventually the audio got messed up. Nevertheless, let's just continue with the game, go through the mines, and oh look, it's our friend. Well, well, what do we have here? Is it not Dave and his picturesque jumping jack, the batter? Are you the specters leader? Ah, <laughs> no, no, certainly not. I am only passing through, not unlike the smoke which is being extracted from this pale and metallic place. However, I believe I know the one you are taking for an ectoplasm can be found. Where? That stuff can be found. To tell the truth, I'm perplexed. I think this is one of the peculiar objects called a spherical add-on. I have well tried to approach it. Approach it. But my operation has failed systematically so far. But I'm thinking, maybe you, one who's not a physical order, will succeed in affiliating the spiritual entity to yours. So is it me, the game player, who is the non-physical entity? Controlling the batter who is a physical entity? Or is the batter also a non-physical entity? Is he a ghost that kills ghosts? That's what I'm wondering. Because he seems to be obsessed with killing ghosts. Got it. Chief of the Spectres isn't here. All right, I've not crossed a single way of a single soul, or the way of a single soul. So, we gotta tell Mr. Man that we don't know. He's probably gonna wheeze. Yep. Ah, uh, ah, so you're back. Have you, uh, killed the, uh, Chief of the Spectres? No, it wasn't there. Oh, uh, uh, really? I, uh, bugger. Crap. I, uh, well then, uh... I believe I'll have to let you to the main gorges then. But, uh, the regulations uh, oppose it. Alright, uh, I suppose it's a very special case, stated in paragraph. Is he just, like, making up an excuse to let us try to kill these ghosts? That's funny. Uh, mmm, there are phantoms. Ugh, I can't give him the same voice. There are phantoms down there! They keep us from working properly! But now it's break time for me, anyways! I'm gonna eat my PB and J! Woo! Alright. Uh, no hidden items. Might just be my Pokemon instinct. Acting up. What are you doing here? Are you the mine inspector? Alright. It looks like <laughs> I'm breaking the rules, it seems. Uh, can I? Thank you. <laughs> that was weird. You've come to eliminate the specters. That's good news. The lamps don't always work in the Enmos corridors. And since everything looks the same around here, it's easy to get lost. There are phantoms in every corridor. Be careful, mister. And besides, who's let you enter? Normally, the regulations prohibit external visitors. It's hard giving these guys different voices. They all look and act the exact same. Nevertheless... Oh. Show yourselves, corrupted children. I am the voice of forgiveness that will eliminate your calamitous forms. Whoa. Here we go. And get ready for my favorite song, by the way, in this soundtrack. Sound, sound design in this game is so good. Prepare yourselves to suffer my judgment. And here it is! It's such a showy, like, from straight out of the 30s. Just like, it's like a, you know, it's like a, it's like a swing dancing sort of, like, record player-y sound. I love it. Okay. I'm gonna stop singing. Well, let's. This is the battle. I love how it says battle time at the r left of the screen. But yeah, if you look at the graphic of this like flower or whatever in the background, kind of where the batter and Alpha Ring are. By the way, Alpha Ring's a buddy. You can see like it's kind of crude. Like you see the like, little pixels hovering just outside the flower. Now normally I think that would be lazy, but in this game, I don't know. It's just it fits with the style that kind of messiness, it really just fits. And the sprites themselves, for the enemies and the batter and stuff, they're pretty clean. Like, they have some kind of rough edges, but they're they're well saturated, is what I'll say. Although then again, they're black and white, but... Adversaries purified. Not killed, purified. Interesting. We got a luck... Oh, we got a few luck tickets. I believe those increase health. This add-on is fighting by my side. That's practical. 
Let's purify the other galleries. I don't know why I'm giving him like this weird deep hero voice. It's kind of weird. All right. I don't know how long this episode's been going on. I need to like time these. All right, anyway. Let's just continue onwards. Oh, the sound design is so good and ambient. I have, I'm such a sucker for ambient music. <laughs> this isn't so much ambient, but it's all, whoa. What is that? It's like a long man, a long armed slender demon tail thing. <laughs> all right, let's kill this. Let's kill this. Oh, by the way, the batter, wait, I'm gonna attack with the ring. The batter has an uh, competence which is special moves, basically. Wide angle, it's like a scan. January, ghoul with dusty breath. Breast? Breath. Light weakness against metal. Interesting. So yeah, the turn-based system, it's more like time-based, kind of like Final, Fan fi Final? Final Fantasy VII, where like the, there's a little time bar that will increase and then it'll be my turn. It's like, so it's cool. And Alpha, I believe, is hurting right now. I'm working. I'm being productive. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Equip. No, no, not equip. Object. Yeah, so these are our items. Revives a person. Interesting use of word person, because I'm playing as like a possible ghost and a, a ring. All right. A silver flesh. Oh, that restores CP, which is like magic, to use the competence powers. Okay, I'll use the luck ticket. There we go, he's all hes all better. Whoa, used it right on time. Medusa heads, of course, cause, cause why not? All right, let's, let's see what these are all about. Magnolia, a severed head floating in the air. Light weakness against me. So they must be vegetarian, right? <laughs> Maybe vegan. All right, so some severed heads, just chilling. Just kind of floating around. I love how I'm like in an abandoned mine shaft and they're just like floating severed heads. Ain't that fun? So, I actually like that we were getting a few good battles in this episode because I, I can show you how those work. And we're seeing these new enemies. They're really cool. I love them. So if we go over here, what's in here? There's a door, but it seems to be locked from the inside. Well, that is helpful. I'll just turn around. Probably can go in there later. Interesting how it says purification in progress. It doesn't say like battle in progress or combat in progress. It says purification in progress. They're really beating you over the head with this purification thing that when you kill things, you're purifying them. Uh, I guess it's because they're demons and I'm purifying the land of demons. Let's see what's up first before I go up that ladder uh, ooh treasure two pieces of Belial's meat of course okay that was just another January I kind of want to explore this area before I go up that ladder because it looks like that'll take me somewhere Ooh, what's this oh oh I did a big double double back okay okay I guess I explored everything nice I will happily accept that Wait, was there? No, no. Okay, yeah. I think I'm making this area out to be bigger than it actually is. So let's just go right. Dang, I am hurting again though. So I'll go back to that save point just to heal up. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Where is it? Okay, yeah. If I go up here, yeah. I think I'm good. Yeah, because I wanted to hit this save point because I'm starting to hurt a little bit. Okay, there we go. And I can save the game. It's good that we have all these battles under our belt. Okay, so let's just try to run. Make a break. Ooh, batter hit level three and learned save first base. That's pretty awesome. It's a competence move, so probably means, well, let's just go here first. Okay, let's go up the ladder. Let's check that out. Save first base. Cool, he can restore HP, that's great. That's actually really awesome. I will always love having a healer. Cool. Oh, who are you? Uh, what? Did you come from the smoke box? Yes. But, uh, there are loads of specters down there. Yes. But are you a specter? No. Then who are you? 
Have you been sent by the Queen or Dayden? Dayden? The Dan? No. But, 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 uh, you still know how to fight the specters? You, you could destroy them? Yes. Batter is, <laughs> is a man of few words. Yes. Uh, yes, no, yes. We have, uh, specters in our big barns. Why do I keep gravitating back to that voice? Barns? Oh my god, what is he, Solid Snake? Uh, er, uh, yes. Ooh, more lessons. I love it. Um, you're at the metal farmsteads of Pentel, the eastern part of Zone 1. Ooh, it's cool. It's a cow. <laughs> Our work consists of cutting livestock in two and extracting the metal boulders that are contained in the cadavers. Confirmed. Metal comes from cows. Because that's how the world works. <laughs> it's weird seeing that. All the poor quality metal is discarded, forming the ground we walk on. The rest gets purified to make tools and other objects with. So metal comes from cows. Can we talk about this? Like, how does that... Some of it is also put into crates and sent to other zones, so that they have tools and soil as well, I suppose. So they make soil out of metal. Can we learn this? How did, cattles, how did cows walk on the ground before that? As the first of the four elements, it is an important element. Wait, so metal or cows? Oh, this is a cool image of a cow. Le chiffre entre panties indiquant a uh, category de... I'm assuming that's saying the cow's boundaries, like I'm guessing these perforations are divided to show what metal is in what part of the cow. Oh yeah, it even says zinc, fer, acier, argent. Yeah, a lot of this game is originally in French, so I should probably think about that. I took some French, so I know a little bit. Because without metal, people would have nothing to walk on. They would sink and drown. So see, it's like, like what I was saying before, earth, water, fire, air, and smoke is like industrialized air. Metal makes a lot of sense. It's like corrupted or industrialized earth. And thus we have large specters and specters in large barns. We must purify the mines. Okay, so he's gonna like beg us. And you'd be like, all right, yeah, that's what I do. Okay, barns are to the right, not big at all, you'll see. He just said they're large. What's, whoa, oh, why did that make me jump? That's funny. Okay, so he said the metal makes the ground that we walk on. So does that mean the natural state of the earth is just this like sea of peach pink colored water? If it's even water? <laughs> I don't even know. Ooh. I prefer working here over the smoke bars. At least you could profit by the outside air. Interesting. We should have got attached to the animals. Once you are, it's difficult to put your heads inside. Put your hands inside. Thank you for that macabre detail. All right, let's go. Uh, probably a good time to end this off, actually. These balls are clusters of worked metal, which are going to be sent to other zones. It's a uh, metallic, like me, like the ground on the feet. All right, going to destroy the specters? Hurry up, we're expecting the queen's inspector at any moment. Get it, inspector, <laughs> as it's specter, but uh, I meant inspector like uh, analyzing and evaluating. We have to pay close attention to the nutrition of the animals if we want high quality metal. <laughs> it's so weird hearing them talk about metal when they're talking about meat, like, they're talking about metal like it's meat, because it's coming from freaking cows. Whatever, man. We're gonna go into the barn and purify it, or whatever that means, in the next episode. So this is Dave out. Peace out.